Welcome to this week's G.I. Joe Toy Review, where we will be continuing our Women of Cobra Month, starting with the Dreadnought Adaption of Heart Wrencher. And uh, this is a first of two part Dreadnought Cobra uh, Women Month. And you'll find out at the end of the video why this is a part one of the Dreadnoughts, Women of Dreadnoughts. But before we get to uh, Heart Wrencher, as to our shout outs of the week. First, starting with Back to the Media at 41 South Loudon Street in Winchester, Virginia. You can find them on the web at www.backtothemedia.com. You can email them at backtothemedia at gmail.com. And uh, you can also find them on. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can also find them on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And you can go there to find all your video game needs dating all the way back to the Atari. And uh, for all y'all teenage and early 20 fans, the Atari is actually the very first game system in the 80s. And, uh, and you can go all the way up to what's currently out now. And uh, you can also find comics and videos and movies and... Funko Pops and other toys and stuff. And while you're in the neighborhood, you can go to Time Traveler Toys and Collectibles. Right there on uh, 115 South Loudon Street, just on the other side of the flash pad. And you can buy and sell comics, toys, and collectibles. And uh, you can, you can check, out, check them out. You can find everything from He-Man, the G.I. Joe, the Transformers, the Thundercats, the Silverhawks, and, or whatever toy you're looking for. Star Wars included, Star Trek included, Ninja Turtles, you know, you name it, they got it. Go down, so when you go in, talk to Charles and let him know I sent you. And you also find them on Facebook, as well as email them at timetravelertoys at gmail.com. So let's take a look at our feature presentation of Heart Wrencher. And starting off with the file card, which I actually have in a plastic case. Because when I ordered her, this is how her frock card came to me, and it's in this basic case, so I kept it in there. So I think it's pretty sweet. And it says, Dreadnought Mechanic. Codename, Heart Wrencher. File name, Devereaux Candace M. Birthplace is Albuquerque, New Mexico. And it says, Heart Wrencher grew up learning the ins and outs of the family auto repair business until she found it was much more lucrative to turn their garage into an illegal backroom chop shop. The skilled mechanic was often called Gearhead or Grease Monkey. However, her nickname that the nickname that stuck was more was much more appropriate, especially given her efficiency for wielding a large wrench as a offensive weapon. After a chance encounter with Sandar, she was one of the few women to successfully compete the two-tier initiation process to become a full-fledged member of the Dreadnoughts gang. It's not until Heart Wrencher is behind the wheel of her ground assault four-wheel drive vehicle that she shows the dynamic ability as a get-away driver. She knows how far to push the vehicle's custom engine and how sharp a turn the tires can drift, which keeps everything right on the edge of disaster. Just let her follow automotive scavengers, or just like her fellow automotive scavengers, she enjoys celebrating a successful heist by consuming large quantities of chocolate-covered donuts along with ice-cold grape soda. And the quote at the bottom says, uh, If you show up in my rearview mirror, you're going to go boom. Nice little file card, and... I can see she enjoys the uh, finer dreadnought luxuries of grape soda and chocolate covered donuts. You know, so that that does qualify her as a dreadnought. But when it says like uh, only few women who uh, uh, to go through the initi initiation, which the only two other f dreadnought females in the dreadnought series is Sartan's sister Zorana. As well as Sartan's daughter, uh, Zena. So that makes her one of very few women dreadnoughts. And the only one that's not actually a family member. So let's take a look at her accessories. Starting off with her figure stand. Upraised Cobra logo. But I think this would be sweet if it was the dreadnoughts logo. 
and a heart retro on the front, which is how I like it with just the name. And she also comes with the apple, 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 or have you say that word? Her apple, wrench, which actually is a pretty sweet looking wrench. Which actually we see this with like hard top, the uh, defiant laying uh, rock, uh, vintage reliance little platform driver, as well as comes with other Joes that I can't think of at the moment. And she also comes this with this wrist mount uh, adaption right here, which actually goes to the base of. Her dart thrower, which we've seen this on the vintage row pig, but the modern era row pig doesn't have this. And for that review, go back to my archives to watch that. And uh, she also comes with this futuristic laser type of gun, which we have seen this with uh, Steel Raven just a few short weeks ago on my three year anniversary video. But Steel Ravens is in black, where uh, I mean, this, uh, Heart Wrenches is in gray. So let's go ahead and take a look at our heart wrencher. Um, she has her black hair. Nicely sculpted black hair, I might add. You know, she's a Caucasian skin tone. And she's got the regular Sartan and Sen Sena and Serana and Sandar shoulder pad thingies. She's got a similar shirt that Serana has, but hers has got the black strap there with the purple shirt. As opposed to the pink with the pink strap and the coastal of the Serena adaption with the black shirt and the black strap. And of course, they gave her overalls, which fits since he's a mechanic. You know, with this black with the purple trim, with the overalls, so straight black goes all the way down her legs. And then she's got this device right here on her leg. I'm not sure what it is. Could be a change roll thingy or whatever, you know, whatever you want it to be. Because I'm not sure what it is. If you know what it is, put it at the bottom of the uh, comments below. And there, with a silver strap that goes all the way around her leg. And, like I said, the black jumpsuit, jump, uh, overalls go all the way down to her black boots. So let's take a look at the uh, the assist, the um, articulation and uh, of Miss Heartwrencher. Her head does make a full 360, and uh, does have good range up and down motion. Her arm goes out to here, as well as swivel all the way around. Sorry for that, but that was a joke. If y'all can't hear in the background, I'm watching Boy Meets World. Hit the line on Morgan. With little Morgan, the little sister, goes, One day at school, at pre care, uh, 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 somebody called me a poo poo head. <laughs> but back to the articulation. Her arm does bend at the elbow. Rotates 360 all the way around. And her wrist does turn at the gauntlet. She does have the ab crunch feature. As well as a good swivel around the side. She does spread at the legs. That's about as far as it goes with the, um, the jumpsuit. With the overalls as well as it goes to here. Hindered by the uh, overalls. She does have the classic double jointed knees. Ankle twist at the uh, bends at the uh, ankle. And swivels at the leg. And that's the articulation. So let's go ahead and take a look at... Uh, Heart wrencher all set up, and here's heart wrencher all geared up. You know, with the cross, with the with the um wrist wrist bow, as well as her little futuristic pistol. Of course, she doesn't have a way to carry the heart uh, the rent 
the monkey wrench, but it's all cool. Um, she makes her first appearance in the Devil Do Devil's Do co uh, comics, which is where she had that chance encounter with Sandor. Um, I not my research has not been able to find that issue because I mean I have not read any of the Devil's Do comics. You know, but she's pretty cool. Um, there's no cartoon appearances for Heart Wrencher, unfortunately, because I think she would have made a cool, uh, cool cartoon character. And, um, there's no vintage reviews for Miss Heart Wrencher, but she does have modern reviews with, uh, SEO Toy Reviews, Mr. 1013, Destro Dealer, Sanitarium Productions. And Sanitarium Productions and the SEO Tour Reviews do review her as well as her Ground Assault Four Wheel ATV, as you see here, which I will be doing this as this vehicle as a review for uh, Cobra Curve, Co Cobra Convergence Five. So check that out in August uh, to see the review on when this on this vehicle. But this is how she's usually packaged. So if you find her on the aftermarket, you know, prepare to pay a pretty steep price for this, for this set. I paid $300 for it, but that's myself. You know, it was a pretty steep price, but, you know, it's worth it for me. Uh, it was worth, worth the set because I'm a huge, huge Dreadnought fan. Uh, anybody that knows me knows my love for Jaguar Joe knows I love the Dreadnoughts. I have almost the entire collection of dreadnoughts but uh this is this is a very good figure she's well worth the price uh my thoughts of heart wrencher was this is a great this is a very good character it's really nice to see added females in the dreadnoughts and then one that's actually not a zartan family member which is actually pretty cool and in the same right uh i would rank her as a top tier figure because you know, just the color schemes and the whole outfit and what she, who she is and what she's about. It's really, really cool, even though I don't know exactly much about her. But it's really, really cool. And, uh, she's a very, very awesome figure. So I would rank her as a top tier. This is a must own for any collector. Um, so I would say Heartbody One the chances are good to get her on the aftermarket. Um, Tune in next week as we end Women of Cobra Month with another Dreadnought, with another Dreadnought female, the Coast Lither version of Zorana, which is part two of the Dreadnought Women of Cobra collection. So tune in next week to see Coast Lither Zorana. This has been Heart Wrencher, and tune in next week to, to see the end of the Cobra Month, Cobra Women of Cobra Month. I, you know, I love doing these videos. You know, see y'all in the next one. This has been a great women's month. See y'all in the next one. Peace, love, and hair grease.